And it'll be the couple from Poland here in Grenoble. Natalia Kalashek and Maxim Spodiriev. She actually competed with her brother in pair skating at the international junior level until the end of 2009 before switching to ice dance with him. Eventually, these two teamed up a few years later. Top 10 at their first Grand Prix this season in Canada when they were ninth. with their rumba, the timing, another cru crucial element to getting the level. You have to make sure that every step you do is in time with the music, otherwise it will not count. this team at their first Grand Prix and hearing color commentator Ben Augusto mention that they have a certain innocence to their style that, that really made him smile and I just could not agree more. I think that there's, you can see how passionate they are about the sport and, and that they really put the work in and it's just, you can't help but really appreciate that. Is everything perfect? No, but that doesn't mean that they're not giving it 100%. How big of a gap is it between a couple like this and a couple like Papadakis and Cicerone or Virtue and Moore, the ones that are at the very elite level of this discipline? In some ways it's huge and, and, and in some ways not. You know, they're, they're, the steps that they're doing, that they have good speed, they're, they're very similar. It's the ease with which they're able to do it. With these guys, you can see still when they're working, you can see when they're trying to generate speed. With the top teams, not so much. A little bit of difficulty there on that second puzzle from her, but she's able to save it. Stumble there at the end, but it, I wouldn't say it gets in the way too much of a, a pretty outstanding performance from these guys, much better than at their last Grand Prix. Yeah, they have been top five at a Grand Prix before, and they'll get their marks in Grenoble when we bring you back. Back with the replays for Natalia and Maxime. Here showing their Side-by-side, side, no touch step sequence. It's incredibly important that they really match. And unfortunately, as you can see there, he came out of a twizzle one turn sooner than her. That's something that the judges will notice. Will be reflected in the grade of execution for that element. A little bit of a difficult entrance into this twi twizzle sequence with an assisted jump, stepping right into it. Here, a difficult entry into their rotational lift. Wonderful strength from both of them. A change of position, which is required if they want to get a level four. Something we haven't brought up too much is the, the component marks, such as skating skills, transitions, performance and execution, choreography and interpretation. It's on a scale of 10, and that is added to the technical score to give them their total score. It's also, it's judged only by 
the judges. The technical panel is the one, or the, is the group awarding the levels on the technical elements. Now these two are just inside the top 15 world championships last year. Won a smaller event in their home country to kick off this season. And now in their second Grand Prix event of the year, after finishing ninth at Skate Canada, they are in second place with the season's best in Group 1 today at the Grand Prix of France. And a couple of little mistakes probably keeping them from getting a higher score, but season's best there, definitely something to celebrate.